So let's start. And let me start by um, giving you a very quick summary or very uh, quick explanation of the of the user interface in general, uh, which you can see on the screen right now. And uh, as you can see, it's a very neat and clean user interface. Everything is quite um, visible and easy to find. And on the top, we have these menus. And uh, let's start quickly from the left one. The file menu, which is basically your open, save, uh, import, export, project references, and your settings, everything is over there. Let me just quickly come back. Uh, then we go to the steel menu. And inside the steel menu, we have all the basic basic steel creation commands like creation uh, creating of columns and beams and vertical bracings and this and that and manual detailing commands and everything is over there the famous auto adjust technology is over here which we'll talk about later and on the left if you see over here there's there are very quick visibility buttons so if i just press this one you can turn off the visibility of profiles turn them on again you can turn on, off on and off the visibility of plates and the visibility of bowls or wells and as you can see it's extremely fast this filtering uh, then if we move on to these two menus over here the IntelliConnect menu and the IntelliClone menu we will be talking a lot about these during this uh, webinar these are two uh, sister technologies and they work together hand in hand and they really uh, end up saving you a lot of time and we will talk about uh, these when we get when we get to them the concrete menu, once again, we have the basic uh, and, uh, tools for entering the concrete elements, for entering the basic rebars, uh, and all the manual uh, rebar entry commands over here. Um, and then if you move on, we have the analysis and design menu, where we've got all the analysis and design related features. There's a lot to discuss. Obviously, we won't be talking about the concrete and the analysis in this webinar. We'll be talking about them in the next, uh, during, uh, during the coming weeks. Uh, then we have the edit menu over here, which uh, under which we have your, all your copy, move, mirror, rotate, your cutting tools, your measurement and your point creation and line creation and your dimensions and your selection filters and um, editing tools for plates and frames and bolts and all that is collected under this uh, title. Under the view um, menu, we have your basic view creation commands like creating view by two points, three points, frame views, and this and that. Your object draw modes, color codings, your work plane settings are all over here. There are lots of ways to create and modify work planes, your clipping planes, and this and that. All that, all that is under, under the view menu. Then we have the drawings and reports section where we have your numbering and your drawings and drawing settings and the creation of different types of drawings available in Commerce's part and assembly drawings, material takes, takeoffs. Also, uh, the reports which come out of the analysis and design section are uh, under this menu. Then we have a miscellaneous kind of a menu over here, which is called tools, in which we've got lots of tools and we can discuss them later. Uh, but importantly, right now, uh, the or your profile databases and bolt databases and assembly databases are all collected under this. On the left-hand side over here, you have the Project Explorer, in which you have all the views. You can create an infinitely many uh, or unlimited number of uh, views in Commerces, and you can open them and you can close them and you can uh, work through them. You have your grids over here, your floors, your design restrictions, your groups, your documents, your drawings. You can explore basically the entire model uh, from this side. And on the right-hand side, we have the component uh, manager, in which you have your um, all your macros and components which are available in Commerces. So let me just quickly go through uh, just like that. There are the beam-to-beam -beam connections over there. There are the beam-to-column connections, uh, all of different types, of course, simple and moment-resisting. Then we have your bracing connections, and then we have your splice connections. Uh, you can see there are many different types of splice, splice connections. You have your purlin and girt connections. You can see many different types of those as well. You've got many different types of base plate connections. You've got many different types of truss connections over there. And each one of these, by the way, are, is, has many subtypes, which we'll discuss when we get to that. Then you have your detailing menu over there, which you've got lots and lots of uh, little tools which really help detailing go really fast. You have auxiliary steelwork, your, like your floor modeling, ladders, handrails, very detailed macros over here, studs and cladding. So all your facade cladding, creation of studs, individual uh, facade uh, cladding pieces, making holes through them, multi-claddings. All those features are available, creating the drawings of those claddings, etc. 
then you've got structural members like uh, creating trusses and girds and sag rods and this and that. Then you have miscellaneous steel detailing, and these are all, these, this is another group. Uh, then we've got user defined, these are your user defined joints, manual macros, if you will. Then we get to the concrete section, which we won't be talking about today. And under the formwork section, we've got walls and slabs. And we can see you've got shear walls, closed walls, all sorts of uh, walls. Then you've got openings in these walls uh, and channels. And we'll be talking about that in the next webinar. Uh, then you've got staircases and staircase related macros. And you've got foundations and foundation related uh, macros and components over here. Then you've got other details which are related to the, commos to the concrete uh, module of uh, commosis. And these are very detailed and you will love these when I'll talk about them in the next uh, in the next webinar. Then you've got embedded objects and all kinds of complicated em embedded objects are available over here. Then we get to this complicated reinforcement uh, components. And here we have your reinforcement components like surface components, region components. These are very powerful tools which I'll discuss uh, for the creation of uh, uh, rebars. And then we've got these container macros for very quick creation of single beams, beams on an axis and um, columns and slabs and holes and staircases and uh, flares and this and that. Then we've got a special area for tank modeling, uh, which I might discuss a bit today. And uh, then we have finally what we call parametric objects. And in the parametric objects, we've got um, shape databases, different basic types of parametric objects, parametric cuts, uh, parametric surfaces, and parametric. This is, these are all for general modeling. So this is a very long list, and I don't want to uh, talk much about that and waste uh, time right now. But this is a basic introduction to the user interface, which we will be using. And it's a very clean user interface, and it's a modern user interface, which we have uh, recently updated. And uh, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction into that. Uh, before we proceed to the actual uh, showing of the individual features. Mm -hmm.